Hello everyone, I am Noemi Paimar from Education 3000 and welcome to our online classes. Today we will go on with uh, seven petal schools, this green, green petal, green petal for ecology. Remember the seven petal schools are seven areas and it's um, by colors, blue is physical exercise, a fit body, yellow is a cognitive part, pink is emotional issues and social science, peace culture, white, all kind of art, green, ecology, as today, red, hands on to do, and violet is the inner development or personal development. The green petal will include deep ecology, new source of energy, conscious nutrition, be conscious of what we eat, and um, preventive health. It's a very important petal because an education that doesn't include how to take care of our planet, how to take care of all the realms, animals, minerals, plants, water, air. We are responsible for this planet and this green petal will teach us from very young age how to be responsible and how to do care and to take care of our environment. Here you can see on the slide, it's a class with trees, how to feel a tree, how to talk with trees. This is from Lima, Peru. This is the other is a um, bio garden, but this one, this one is uh, next to Lima, Peru. It's a different bio garden. It's a Ayurvedic garden. So you learn not only how to grow vegetables, but you learn a new culture, a different cosmovision. And that is very good for peace approach and to know more about India, for instance. And mind you, the, the vegetable was so big, it was so huge. And there are a bunch of techniques and we were studying that. And I was thinking it would be nice to have this inside the school. Actually, I would love to have every school to have a bio garden to grow their own vegetables and herbs and medic medicinal plants as well and to know what it is about. Sometimes they do a garden like in the shape of a body and on the shape of the body, you will put the plant for to help with this part of the body. Let's say I have an headache, so the plant for the headache will be in the head of the garden shaped as a human body. If I have a tummy ache, so the plant for the tummy aches will be placed on the tummy, on the tummy, and yes, and the, and so on. And uh, it's nice because you know the plant and you know the anatomy and you know what's good for and you know the local plants in that way. In the garden, we can have. If you don't have enough room, you can do a vertical garden but it's important for all the kids to have some plants to take care of at all age. If not, it would be nice to have like a, fir a farm or a piece of land out of the school and go one day a week or one day when it's a time to sow to collect to the crops and go all together. And maybe some parents can help us to have a piece of land. This is very pedagogical and as well to do planting trees, pumping. Remember, we talked about that. 100 trees per grade and per year. That would be the best with the parents, with the neighborhood, with the help of the municipality, the town hall. And uh, it's so pedagogical and so therapeutical. And we are talking about native tree and useful trees and pop trees and fruit trees. The program of the green petals as well includes health and uh, we, it's, talk, it's, um, we, it's named preventive health. We want preventive like to have all the tools to 
be responsible. Actually, the program is called I am responsible for my health. And I'm talking about emotional health and, and physical health. And I am responsible of that. So we know how to prevent. We know how to listen the body. We know what to eat, not to eat. Uh, what liquid to take. Good water to listen the necessities of the body. The other program is about to be a guardian. So you can be a guardian of a um, garden or uh, uh, some trees you plant, and then you have, of course, to water to take care of the trees, or a piece of forest, of a river, the, uh, a place with a garden, the bio garden, flowers. We did a lot of flowers in the school or in the educational environment and the house too. Many kids told me we need flowers, much more flowers, especially kids you who think they are autistic, you know, they, they, they love flowers and it's therapy as well. So we don't have to, to have the flower, like the back flowers, you know, there's that, that, some essence of flowers. You have the real flower and you can smell them and be with them. That would be beautiful. Then we have what's called pedagogical, ecological walks. So we can spend one day, two days, three days, maybe one week in a special reserve, in a special ecological place. It can be um, an ecological floor somewhere in the mountains or somewhere near the sea or somewhere in near a river. And you study everything, the plants and the, the animals and the, the climate and the rocks and the soil and the water system, I mean, as a whole. And this is wonderful. That's the best way to learn environment, biology, botany, um, natural sciences. Then there's another idea we had is to use the trees. And um, remember in the pink petal we were talking about to have the school assembly or to have a listening circle or peace circle. And if you have a tree, you can do it inside the tree. I know some schools that do it, like Democratic School. I visit some and uh, they were doing their meeting in the street, on the, on the branch. Or you can build a platform like what you see in the picture. Don't put nails in the tree. The, the platform will be around the tree with enough space for the tree to grow. And you can do your meeting, you can do your relaxation time, meditation time, and it's beautiful. They, they love it, they love it. You will see the, those meetings are so great when you do it that way. I saw it in India, I saw it in Nepal. They had a platform below the biggest tree for meditation session, and it's absolutely beautiful. This petal as well, we include in this petal, the green petal, all kind of new source of energy, not, I mean, all the alternative to oil, petrol. In a clean way, zero CO2, and, that's, and then we can, and I saw actually a school in Bulgaria, she had, um, in the physics class, they had Tesla on the wall, Tesla, on the picture of Tesla, and there was studying Tesla coil, which is a very good idea. It would be energy with electromagnetic field or zero field. A solar oven, we can build a solar oven. We can do a solar cooker. We can have wind and solar energy. And that's very easy. Water pump that will work basically with the same, with the stream, with the strength of the stream. And that way we don't need the motor or the engine to pump the water. Water is such a big issue all around the world. So we could learn all that. And even Tesla, he had a method to pump water. So that's definitely part of the green pattern mixed with um, physics and the STEAM classes. Remember STEAM is uh, engineering and math and physics. Another thing that's part of the Green petal is to have collection center and recycling. That's two things we can do inside the school or inside the house to have the habit of recycling and to do what to do with our own garbage and keep our garbage to the minimum, 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 minimum. 
actually one of the idea of the seven petal school it would be a zero zero one thousand school meaning zero bullying zero garbage zero co dos or as low as possible and one thousand trees a year planted the collection center is like um, you can see on the right side is a place in the school when we learn fair economy, solidarity, and recycling. Anything we don't use, especially children, because they grow so fast, so they their clothes are too small, quite fast, or the books they don't use, or toys they don't use, or bicycles they don't use anymore because they are too big, and so on. So to have the habit to have a place, and it's called uh, collection centers, and to have recycling, recycling habit in the school, like where we put the papers, we put the plastic, we put the bio, we have our own compost, we can have um, long brick culture <laughs> when you, we have the little worms and we do a special compost and that's part of the curriculum. There is something I really like and that's um, a very good example of an ecological school actually the name of the school is called green school and it's in bali indonesia and they have it's called a turbulent vortex turbine in green school Bali. it's um you deviate a little part of the the river and it's fish friendly by the way the fish can go through and they are not smashed by the turbine and they have electricity i mean they cover 80 percent of the electricity with one turbine and this is amazing. So um, that was part of a project they had, they did with a student, and that's absolutely brilliant. It's called Turbulent Vortex Survive. And there are another project, and it was um, to have uh, energy storage. They were using like mobile phone and notebook battery, and they had, um, well, a capacity of 32 kilowatts. But it's a project that received a prize even because it was very, very new and very creative. And it was part of the project of Great School. So they are really in this school. We will see the, the video later on. Look, plus this school, it's, the architecture is so beautiful. It's all done in bamboo. It's all sustainable. It's all beautiful material, beautiful uh, gardens extremely green, they have their bio diesel, they don't use oil or gasoline or petrol. And they have so much activities. And uh, the kids and the young people, they are so responsible and they are so creative and they are, they are flying, they are extremely beautiful. Let's see if I can find the video for you. Welcome to my world. He means our world. This is Green School. A place where we make solutions happen. Where are teachers? And students like me. And parents like, like us. And members of the community. And, and, us. and especially me. We come together. <laughs> to make a difference in the world every day. By living sustainably. We learn how to solve problems. We turn used cooking oil into fuel. We grow our own food. We experiment. We innovate. We're building a model for the future. Join us. We stand together. And support you. To become more green. We are entrepreneurs. Because we want to make the world a better place. To be a model for the future now. Through education. We engage with the local community. We invite people from all around the world. To connect with us. And join forces. We can make a difference. Education is our ally. The future of our planet is now. We are the future.
One word that describes green school? This should be interesting. Green. Yeah. Progressive. Community. Art. Sustainability. High tech. Low tech. Innovation. Inspiring. Creative. Entrepreneurial. Hopeful. Optimistic. Body. Global. Plenty of. Respect. Bold. Fun. Young. Fresh. Sustainable. Solution. Now. So this is the proof we can have beautiful schools and green schools with both low tech and high tech that really take care of the planet, that really are responsible, where the kids and young people are 100% aware of what they are doing, they have solutions, they can do their project, and they are all green. And it's not a topia, it's, 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 it's true. I, I, um, the, the school is called Bali, green, green School in Bali. It's in Bali, Indonesia, and it's really an example for the world. And I really love what they do. I do hope all the seven petal schools have a very green component, and that will, be, that will change many, many things for the new society, for the planet, for us. And that's the invitation for everybody.